Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Tuesday the 8th of August 2023. I'm once again in Slovakia and I will show you what mushrooms I found today and also in previous week. Let's start. I saw some people around so I thought at this spot there will be nothing for me, but I was wrong. Look how beautiful this red cup is. Almost perfect shape, just a bit bitten, but I'm very happy for this find, so stylish. Oh wow, at first I saw just something white here, but I noticed it's covered by a leaf, and under the leaf there is some orange color, so it's a beautiful Aspen bolit and then I looked a bit left and I saw there is another one a little bit bigger and then I saw a third one much much bigger and there is also a very tiny one here I believe there could be even more around so I will look around I will take some pictures of these because they look basically perfect and then I will pick them which I will show you of course so I will start to pick those which I found but of course not this one this one is too small but I want to show you because it's so so nice not far from him there is one big enough to take so I just slowly need to get to it How beautiful this mushroom is. Let's, let con let's continue because there are more. I need to go slowly because they are always tricky to find for the second time. Look at this beauty. This one is basically perfect shape. I'm very happy for such finds. So we have two. Just uh, less than half a meter away. We have third one. This one is a bit more brown. The brown ones are marked as some variety of Lessinum rufum, I believe. So maybe this one is that variety, but I'm not sure. And now let's get to the original tree that I found at the beginning and that I took some pictures of. Can you see them already? We have three guys here and three more guys here. This one is also very nice and I took a picture of this one. This one is also amazing, just too much bitten from slugs, but only from the other side, so I'll just put it to the rest and cover the hole. The very tiny one will of course stay here. And look at the big one. This is so beautiful mushroom. One of the most beautiful ones of this species that I ever found. It's not even damaged by slugs, only a bit dirty on the head. So 
so what a find here Most probably you are wondering if they are healthy, so let's have a look. Let's start with the smallest one. And yeah, it looks good. This one also looks good. The damaged parts from the slug will need to be cut a bit more. Let's check also the big one. Yeah, absolutely clean. So nice. What a beauty. I'm really amazed by this mushroom. Let's also have a look at the tiny one. Also looks great. So I believe all of them are healthy. A beautiful find. This is the same spot as where I found my first tzep this year. And we have two young ones here. Third one. And one more. Four little guys, starting, starting very nicely, but I will not take them, they are too small. Here is one which is big enough to take. I like this size. It looks great from this side, not so great from the other side. But maybe it will be still good. This looks like a chanterelle and because of the purple tones on the head I think this is not a golden chanterelle but it is an amethyst chanterelle which is the same quality just a bit different look. And except of some probably russulas here look at this very lovely tzep of course the head is a little bit damaged but still the shape is so lovely it was growing here in the moss which is always a nice place for tzeps and look how nice it is we should probably check if it's healthy as well. So let's check the health. Looks nice, probably healthy inside. Here is a mushroom that we call a mountain sap or mountain bolete. And you can recognize it by nice yellow tones. It's quite a rare mushroom so I don't pick it but I'm happy to find such a big one. And I think the Latin name is Butiriboletus subappendiculatus if I'm not wrong not far from the previous one look at this beautiful guy a very young and fresh almost ideal And here is another one, but this one is too small to take, so I will just show you to the camera and then I will camouflage it so it it's 
lower chance that someone will find it so small and take it so let's check if it's healthy seems like it is Beautiful mushroom. This is a Rosula, and next to it we have Scarletina bolid, and it's not just one, it's two of them, or I'd rather say at least two of them. They were quite deep, but I saw the bigger one and they look very nice at first I thought this was a scarletina bolly but when I looked closer I have noticed it is a well-shaped zip and well colored as well of course as usual there is some damage from slugs but I like it anyway I hit some aspens again that means a great place for orange heads like this one more lessinum to my basket looks very nice but that's not all from here because I have also noticed some nice chanterelles here just maybe one meter from from the lessinum So this will go to my basket. But not yet, because when I turned around I saw something very well camouflaged, but yellow and very huge, which means more chanterelles. I hope they are in a good shape. Yeah, this is beautiful, especially in the sunlight, a very huge, healthy golden chanterelle. And the second one next to it. So when I turn back, we can arrange it a little bit better. And this is the result from this spot. Another new mushroom for this year, Macrolepiota procera, most probably, I will double check that, also called the parasol mushroom. It's a very tasty edible species, but it can be mistaken for some other species which could be dangerous, so only pick them if you really know what it is. And that's not only for this mushroom, but for all mushrooms. Another place which is hardly believable for me. How many of beautiful mushrooms are here? I will start with this one. Beautiful, right? But that's not everything from here I believe now you can see at least something we have one more here and this would be a beautiful picture but I don't have so much time anymore
two smaller ones back there if you can see them a giant one here growing out from a tree trunk and it's actually the same place and the same way as same way of growing this species as last year there are also some smaller ones this one is very tiny so i will let, let it be and this one is bigger so it will hopefully go with me back there there is one more four guys from here and we are not done yet here is another tiny one and two more these two will go with me a small one and a bigger one another amazing spot this is the second time I'm going around this place but first time when I noticed this guy beautiful Alessino Malbos Tipita too one more what a beauty they are so nice these mushrooms so yeah the history really repeats because at the same spot I found the Boletus edulis last year and look how giant here is today I believe it's very wormy so I will not take it will stay here to spread some spores but again great to find it it's getting dark so I'm using my flashlight already there is a very huge one which is too old to take but this one could be in a better shape looks good and what is this one more and this one looks very young and very fresh but still pretty huge and very well shaped another beautiful addition to the basket so guys it's getting dark and I arranged all of the scaber stalks that I'm taking from this place today. This is awesome find for me. And I have some more mushrooms in the basket, like some chanterelles, uh, milk cups. There is one scarlatina bolide and one parasol mushroom. But one more time I will show you this, because it was a great surprise for me. And I really appreciate I was lucky to find these beautiful mushrooms. So I hope you liked this video, if yes then please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already, share the video with your friends and check the links in the descri description below like my Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. So thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.